In this video, we're going to learn a shortcut in multiplying a special product, the square of a sum. Let's say we have a plus b squared. This means a plus b times a plus b. Now using the FOIL method, this is equal to a squared plus ab plus ab plus b squared. ab plus ab is 2ab. So this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So therefore, the square of a plus b is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now using this formula, we can quickly find the square of the sum of two terms without using the FOIL method or the distributive property in general. For example, let's say we have x plus 2y squared. In this case, we have a as x and b as 2y. Now instead of using the FOIL method, just take the square of x plus twice the product of x and 2y plus the square of 2y which is equal to x squared plus 4xy plus 4y squared. So therefore, x plus 2y squared is equal to x squared plus 4xy plus 4y squared. Now let's say we have 3x plus 1 squared. In this case, we have a as 3x and b as 1. Now instead of using the FOIL method, just take the square of 3x plus twice the product of 3x and 1 plus the square of 1 which is equal to 9x squared plus 6x plus 1. So therefore, 3x plus 1 squared is equal to 9x squared plus 6x plus 1. If we have 4 plus 5y squared, then we have a as 4 and b as 5y. Now instead of using the FOIL method, just take the square of 4, plus twice the product of 4 and 5y plus the square of 5y which is equal to 16 plus 40y plus 25y squared. So therefore, 4 plus 5y squared is equal to 16 plus 40y plus 25y squared. Now I hope you get the idea on how to get the square of the sum of two terms by recognizing it as a special product. Thanks for watching.